Hey folks, how's it going? Um, just wanted to show off the my EDF dyno I set up here. So I uh, just actually finished a run. It's the dyno setup is working pretty well. This is the first time I've run it, so it was I was pretty stoked to finally get it all working. Uh, I'll kind of go through it real quick. It's a uh, kind of an unusual dyno setup. I wanted to do something a little simpler, a little smaller than what a lot of people use with like the uh, the big flatbed with the the the, uh, the drawer bearings and that sort of thing. Um, I just didn't really have the room to store all that. So what I've got here is kind of like a folding setup. And uh, it's just basically two pieces of wood on a door hinge. I think it's a, a ball bearing door hinge here, so it's, it, it uh, swings real easy. And uh, so that's the motion for the fan. And then it's being registered by a, a scale over here. So when I pull on this, you can see it reads force. Um, so it's just kind of a simplified version without having to do the rails and all that stuff. Um, is it as good? I'm not sure. I mean, it, it's good enough for what I need. It's good enough to, to check out when I make changes run to run what the differences are. That's what I really care about. Obviously measuring out here, I have to do some math. Um, it's not a one-to-one -one measurement. There's a, a ratio here. So I have to, whatever this reads, I add about 30% to that to get the actual thrust. Um, and then over here, just have my receiver pack. This actually runs a little, this little 3S pack runs the uh, little computer fan I put on the, the ESC, just so it's getting some cooling. Um, and then I've got a spectrum receiver, and then I've got a voltmeter amp meter here. And that's uh, one of the wraparound style amp meters. And then the voltmeters go into the packs. As you can see right now, they're run down, I've already run them down pretty far, so they're down to less than 70 volts. And then I just got three rando packs, uh, one SMC 6200, and then uh, a couple of Liperiers. So it's mismatched. So that's that's also not a good setup. So I've got to be careful about. I've been watching, using a cell checker on each pack, watching the voltages. The SMC is trading faster because it has a lot better output. So uh, so anyways, but it's good for a test run to shake the thing down. The fan's running smooth. Um, I ended up finding a. Uh, jet fan heat sink. So I put that on the 685 and also I ran a uh, one of the spectrum temperature telemetry sensors, a little thermistor. Uh, I ran that and glued it to the back of the coils and that's getting telemetry so I can actually see my temperatures on my of the, the motor coils actually on the radio. So that can that I'm using just to make sure I'm not getting the motor too hot. But so far, the temperatures have looked really good. I haven't seen anything over like 170 after heat soak. Um, so yeah, so anyways, I'll run it up here real quick so you can you can hear it real quick. But uh, it's like I said, it's already, the batteries are drained, so I'm just gonna run it up and then that's it for the day. Um, I got a couple little fixes I wanna do on the setup, but overall, this will this is good to get it, get it started. So here, I'll run it up a little bit and then uh, call it good for this video. Yeah, he's a beast. All right, that was a 70, well, 60 something volt run. But anyways, I'll get more videos on this more detailed once I get some good packs and uh, actually kind of really put this thing, give it the beans, so to speak. All right, bye.